Hi, and welcome to BUS 330, Section 3, Principles of Finance Online. I am Professor Nugent, and I will be your instructor for this course. This course is an asynchronous online course, which means that we're not going to have any live sessions. You're going to be watching pre-recorded videos for the course. So let's get started with Brightspace. So Brightspace has a menu bar up top. So this is where the content home is the home page. This has all the announcements and what I call Brightspace boxes. And your Brightspace box is just a box below announcements, which is a quick link to one of the um, tasks that or information you might need for the course. We have the content link, which is gonna show the uh, content in the course uh, laid out in a different way. Uh, we have the assignments which will be for Brightspace, the only assignments will be these five Excel assignments that I'll get to more later. The grades in, in Brightspace will only be for the Excel assignments. I will also be posting these grades on the homework manager, more on that later. So let's go back to the course home. So please remember to watch this video until the very end because I give important information the beginning, middle and end of this video. So take the 20 minutes or so to watch this video it will be very useful for you to complete the course with less confusion okay the first announcement is how to get started with this course so i have five things you should do in week one to get started one is to watch the getting started video which you're doing right now two is to read over announcements which i'm going to go over with you three is to register for the homework manager which is my finance lab four is to register for the zoom financial simulation and five is to read over the syllabus so let's continue with the announcements. The first announcement is the homework manager, a grade book and textbook. So the homework manager is going to house all your grades for the course. I'm going to bring, I'm going to, the Excel grades from Brightspace, I'm going to bring over. So the homework manager will be where all your grades and your final grade for the course will be. Now, if you go to this link, you will be able to register for the homework manager, which comes with an e-textbook for the course. So you're going to sign in. You may have a Pearson account that you can use, or you can create a new Pearson account, and you can pay by credit card or pal, uh, PayPal. And then you just want to make sure you select BUS 330, Section 3, Finance Online. Uh, and then later on, you can use the Brightspace box to get to the website to complete the homework. So I'll show you more of the homework manager in a little bit. And we also have the Zoom Financial Simulation. So this is the, the website for the financial simulation. This is our class code, fall 2022. And there's two parts to the finance simulation. Part one is a solo practice where you by yourself will, will play six consecutive rounds of the simulation and try to score above 1,500 points for all, by the end of the sixth round. They're cumulative. And you have to September 15th to complete that. And that's 20 points. The remaining 20 points is your activity in the team competition. So here you have to play with other team members. Uh, you're going to compete in six rounds with everybody else in the class. There are specific due dates, which the schedule is down here. And you're going to have to surpass 2,200 points as a cumulative score to get the full 20 points. If you score less than 2,200 points, you're only earn 10 of these 20 points. Okay, more on that later, of course. This is just the announcements. I also give you an Excel 2019 tutorial. So I have a web link here to a video, which is a video tutorial of how to use Excel because we'll be using Excel in this class. And I also have a link for where you can download Excel for free using your Stony Brook credentials. Okay, just want to remind everybody that I do not accept late assignments. So during the semester, Make sure you plan ahead. If you have if you have work related issues, family related issues, or, or just uh, things that could get in your way of completing the homework at the last minute, make sure you start your homework and do your homework early. So that way there'll be no conflicts. Day one, I'll have all the homework set up and ready to work on, so you easily work ahead. Because remember, if you miss a homework assignment, I will not accept any late assignments. So just be careful of that. Now there's also, you can expand the announcement section. There are additional announcements. So if we go down, there's a course schedule. So here are how I suggest you should be working on the chapters on, on the basic a timeline. So this is asynchronous. 
So these are just suggested start dates for you to read and work on the chapters. Uh, we do have a midterm coming up on Wednesday, October 19th, which is going to cover uh, chapters one through five. And then we have a final exam uh, uh, that will be December 7th that will cap cover chapters six through 10. If you have any problems with the homework manager, please contact Pearson directly, Pearson Support. Uh, I can't get you your password. I don't know your login. Uh, if you're having technical issues with them, I can't help. So please contact Pearson. Uh, here's an announcement of what to do if a teammate isn't participating. So I give some advice if you have a team member that doesn't participate. And of course, the grades, how the grades are laid out as far as the converting your percentage score to a letter grade. And if anybody's interested, you can get a, a subscription to the Wall Street Journal for a uh, reduced price here. And here is the uh, link that you could use to get the Wall Street Journal. If you're interested in that, not a requirement, um, but just, just there in case some students are interested in that. Okay, so let's go back to the course page. Okay. So at the bottom of announcements, these, these are what I call bright space boxes or this is the, what they call the virtual TOC. Um, John, I'm not sure what TOC stands for, but I call them bright space boxes. So the first bright space box is called syllabus. So if you click on syllabus and then you can download the syllabus or you can click on syllabus and this will expand the syllabus for the course. And you should read this over to get a better idea of how the course is going to work and the description, what we're doing, the knowledge you're going to learn, how the points for the grading, so the simulation is 40 points, the homework, Excel uh, worksheets in Brightspace are 50 points, the homework assignments are 60 points, and test one is 75 points, test two is 75 points, for a total of 300 points. If you divide your points by three, you'll get your percentile score, or if you look in um, the My Finance Lab, they'll give you your percentile score there, and this is how it converts to a grade the schedule of the, the chapters we're going over. So you're probably not new to a syllabus, but that's where the syllabus is. And it's in that, that bright space box. Okay, the next bright space box is documents. So in here we have, I'm gonna have the YouTube uh, playlist in here. And I'm also going to have, also in the link in here, the PowerPoint uh, slides. Actually, if you, as far as documents we have, the first document is, this is a YouTube playlist, which is gonna, if you click on this, it will link to YouTube, which will be all the course videos for the class. And then we have the chapter PowerPoints and the chapter Excel examples. So, and this will be just, these are the same Excel files that will be for the, the homeworks, but if you ever miss a homework or you wanted the homework gets closed, you didn't download, or you lost the spreadsheet, you can come back in here in the content in the documents box to uh, see that content. Okay, so, and again, the, you know, the, the, uh, the PowerPoint slides are here, which go along with the lecture. So, and if you click on content, they have a list of the content here is another way of, of seeing it in Brightspace, which is the syllabus, class videos, uh, Excel assignments, Zoom teams. It's just a more of a more traditional menu to get to things if you're interested, if you don't want to use the Brightspace boxes. So let's go back to the course page. All right. So we also have these Excel assignments. So if you click on the Excel, Excel assignments, there's five assignments that throughout the semester are due at various times. The due dates are already listed. So when you're ready to work on an assignment, you click on the blue Excel one document here and then you're going to see the Excel files that you can download and work on. Now, there is a corresponding video on the YouTube list that I will go through step by painful step on how to complete these homework assignments in their entirety. So if you are confused about the, the, how to complete these spreadsheets, you have to watch the video that goes along with how to complete the spreadsheets. Um, so you download these spreadsheets after you download them. You, you're going to upload them by clicking here, upload. And then that will open up uh, a browse box where you can browse and select your, your Excel files to attach and then submit 
your work and then I can grade it uh, after it's been submitted. So not too different from what you would do in Blackboard. So this is where the Excel assignments are. Here are your Zoom teams. So if you click on here, you can find out what team you're in. So if you click here, it's a spreadsheet and it'll open up right inside the Brightspace, something Blackboard can't do. Uh, so you can go in here, you can alphabetically look up your name, see what team you're on. And over here, you can see the teams and your teammates on here. Okay. So there's your teams on Zoom. That will become important a little bit later. Now we also have the Zoom Business Simulation and My Finance Lab. These are just web links to bring you over to Zoom Simulation. And the other web link down here is for My Finance Lab. And that will bring you to, if you click on this, it will bring you to My Finance Lab. Okay, now remember that this is just the layout of the course home. It might be easier for some students if you want to work on the content area. And here is where, which is a little bit similar to Blackboard, you have your syllabus, your documents, you know, and you can just click on these to get into um, each of the areas a little bit quicker. And to, you know, so it depends on, you figure out what works best for you. So let's move ahead and we'll work on the homework manager. So here's the homework manager. Once you've registered for the homework manager, you can then sign in. So your homework manager is going to look like this. Oh, that might be too big. Let's get that back down to size. Try, I was trying to make it a little bit bigger. Um, so you have the homework manager here. In the homework manager, there's the two most, the three most important links are Pearson eText, Assignments, and Results. So if you click on the Pearson eText, this will open up the textbook for the course. And what's great about the textbook is you'll have a search bar where you can quickly search on things you're looking for or problems you're looking for. So that the integrated textbook is very useful. You'll have your results, and this will be the grades for the entire course will be listed here as you complete the assignments. So all the homework, the exams, and I, at, towards the end of the class, I'll also bring over the Excel grades from Brightspace. So all your grades will be here on the finance lab. And then you have your assignments. So in your assignments, we have the homework for chapters one through 10 already set up for you to work on. The day of the exam, um, if you click, your exam will show up here as well, but only on the day of the exam, the midterm and the final will only appear the day it's due. So if you're going to work on the homework, you click on the homework link and it's going to open up the question. So homework two only has three questions. You click on question one and it's going to open up the question. So you're going to have in question one is going to give you the question up here. You may, there may be slide bars to kind of, if you can't see the full question. Um, and as you work on the question, so it's going to say, what is the bid and ask for class A shares? So up here, if we look, class A shares, commission. So the bid price, what is the current bid ask spread? So, okay, so the bid ask spread is the difference between the ask price and the bid price. So here we have 85, 909.62. And if we subtract that from the bid price, which is 705, we get the spread. So the spread is 204.62. And then we can check, we can check the answer. And here I got the answer correct. So now we can move into the next question. So, and here I'm going to type in the wrong answer. And then I get that's incorrect and explanation why it's incorrect. And then I get a, another chance. Um, to answer it. So I'm going to delete this. Um, and I'm going to put in, you know, another answer to see. Um, so I'm going to put in another answer. Again, that's wrong. So I get the final chance. So you get, you get two chances to put an answer in and you get the final check. And here I got it wrong. The correct answer is six. 
So they wanted six, which is a transaction cost up here per uh, for the order. Okay. Uh, now, you can move to the next question. And this is pretty much how it works. Uh, and then when you complete uh, your question, so let me just put this away. And then I'm going to explain how this is uh, calculated. So it's 50% of the bid ask spread. Um, so we have the, the bid ask spread here. And if we times that by 50%. And remember, rounded to the nearest cent. So So again, it's wrong. So you have to keep trying and I'm just going to put here, final check, and then you get it wrong and it tells you what the correct answer is. Okay. Now, once you finish the question, they can have multiple parts each question. So I'm just going to zoom through here. And what's nice about it is if you are having some trouble uh, with it, you can go to a couple of options here. You have the help me solve and view an example. So if you're having problems with any part of this question and you're on your final check, go to this view an example. And it's going to give you an example with dollar amounts inside. And as you continue through, it's going to give you an example of a complete problem, including a worked out uh, explanation of it. You can also do view and uh, help me solve this, which is going to be a similar problem you can work through and try to answer. Uh, so it won't count as your answers, different, different numbers, but uh, same problem with different numbers that you're going to try to work through and get a better idea of what you're doing. So once you've completed question one, you get moved into question two. So you get moved into question two and you're going to work on question two and question three. So you get it. It's, I'm sure you've worked on these before. Uh, and then once you're done with the homework, you're going to get a score. You can also resume this later, but you're going to get a score in your grade book once you're done. And once you've completely finished the homework, I do allow you to take another attempt at it. So say you finish the homework and only get a, a total score of 60. You can restart the homework uh, and try it again, but you start from the very beginning. Everything's erased and you have to restart. So those are the two things to look out for here. Okay. And of course, finally, you have your results where you can go in and see your, your results on your score. And it'll show me what my, my score is for the homework, how much time I spent on it. Um, and then it gives me my overall grade for the class. So as you complete more and more assignments, your percentage here, this is your weighted average percentage for the course, which equals a letter at the end of the course is all going to be built in here. Okay, so let's go back to Brightspace. And now let's talk about the Zoom business simulation. So we also have to register for the Zoom business simulation. So here we're going to click on register and you can click on student and then you're going to fill this out. Uh, first name, last name. Now, now you, very important, make sure for the homework manager and for Zoom, you use your the same first and last name that's in solar. Don't use any nicknames. Uh, don't change your name because I won't be able to link your grades up at the end of the class if you do that. So make sure you use your real first name and your real last name and your Stony Brook email address when you create your account for this course. So you put in your correct first and last name, your email address. I suggest using your email address as your login ID so that way it's harder to forget. You create a password, click you're not a robot, click on register, and then you're going to get um, the buy now button. There are no activation codes for us because it's not part of any textbook package. So there are no activation codes. You have to click on buy now. So you click on buy now and it's going to open up a cart here and then you check out. And this is uh, you can check out, I believe, with uh, a credit card or a uh, I think they might also take PayPal. I'm not, I'm, don't quote me 100% on that. 
So yes, they do have shop pal or meta pay. Uh, it looks like, and then you just continue to fill out the payment for this. Once the payment is completed, then you will um, be put into the simulation. Okay, so now once the payment is complete, you should be, uh, this should bring you back to the site. If you don't come back to the site, you could just go to the zoomsim.net and log in. So the first thing you wanna do is select your professor. So you wanna look for Mike Nugent, that's me. And then the class code, which is fall 2022. I don't know how much more obvious I can make that. And then uh, submit. And now you're ready to play team competition. So when you're ready to play the team competition, you click on play team competition, and then you find your team. So I'm gonna be in team, uh, hypothetically, I'll say team 12. And now when I click on play team competition, I'll be in team 12. And then you could enter in your first and last name and email address here. So, So this way you'll know who, who, which of your team members have signed up and the email address to contact them. And you can hit uh, submit company data there. So then when the next student joins, they can input their, when they go to the company page, they can put themselves in as the next team. And then you start out with your sales, marketing, production, and finance. There's a separate video that's gonna go through how to do this separately. All right, so that is the uh, Zoom simulation. And when you're in the simulation, you can also, um, there'll be, the one other thing I wanted to tell you about this is you also have a solo. So if you log in again, you'll also have your solo practice. Now the solo practice is you against computer players and you have to complete six rounds to so go from a Y1 to Y2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is just you playing against the computer to get to know the simulation better and practice. Okay, so let's go back to the course home. And it's been about 22 minutes so far, so I'm pretty much done with this video. So remember, now I've gone over, this video has gone over the announcements, how to sign up and use the homework manager, how to sign up uh, for the Zoom simulation, how to join a team for the Zoom simulation, where to find your teams. Uh, and here is the video you can watch that will go over how to complete year one of the simulation in total. And remember at the bottom here, you have what I call your Brightspace boxes, which is quick links to various uh, things we're going to be completing in the class. So the only assignments you have here are the Excel assignments, and then the rest of your assignments will be on the homework manager my finance lab okay i hope you found this video informative and instructive and clarify a lot of the potential questions you may have had and i look forward to uh, having su a successful semester with you thank you